Good morning and welcome to Morning Devotions in, with the community of St. Andrews in Glenwood, Maryland. My name is Jan and I will serve as leader today. We are recording this service so that others can access it at a time convenient for them. Let us take a moment to prepare ourselves, put ourselves in the frame of mind to receive the word, worship, and fellowship. You are worthy, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Great is the Lord and worthy of all praise. Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor, power and might, be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us praise and worship God who has called us together. Let us celebrate God's majesty and delight in the wonder of God's love. Together we shall confess our sins and receive assurance that we are forgiven. As we reflect together on our meditation, we can allow God's word to speak to us and ponder its meaning for our lives. In our prayers, we give thanks for God's goodness. We pray for others as well as for ourselves. And we offer our lives anew in Christ's service. All this we do because we believe in the presence among us of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and in the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. It shall rejoice with gladness and singing. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And the majesty of our God. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened. And the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like the heart. And the tongue of the dumb shall sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return. And come with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness. And sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our meditation today is taken from Richard Rohr's Center for Action and Contemplation. Whenever we are on our journey with Christianity, Brian McLaren invites us to return to the instructions given by the Hebrew prophet Micah. Oh, human being, this is what God desires of you, that you do justice, that you love, that you love kindness, that you walk humbly in the presence of your God. <clears throat> Micah 6, 8. Brian writes, Micah turns a religious question into a human question. Christians very much like to call Jesus the son of God. Jesus much preferred to call himself the son of man or son of humanity. There are many layers of meaning to the term, but the simplest and most obvious is this. A son of humanity is a human being. If you want to put a finger point on it, son of, son of means the essence of, or perhaps a new generation of. Jesus is saying that he represents the essence of humanity, a new generation of humanity. 
a kind of human being. In this light, his constant invitation, follow me, means imitate me and join me on my journey towards a new way of being. And in addition to being a humble and kind human being, I hope you will aspire to be just a human being. Don't seek power over others to control or exploit them or harm them. Instead, use whatever power that comes your way for the common good so that all people everywhere can share equal justice and equal dignity. Seek justice, love justice, do justice. Be a human being religiously. When I say religiously, I mean intentionally, seeking out practices that promote justice, kindness, and humility. And I mean collaboratively, joining building communities or networks that promote those practices. And I mean reverently, knowing how precious this heartbeat and this breath really are, and feeling every moment how much danger and opportunity are held in these human hands. Religiously, as I'm using the term, means with a sense of sacredness of everything and a commitment to reconsecrate everything. In the midst of uncertainty for what the future of Christianity holds, Brian invites us to continue what he calls our spiritual quest, to become the most just, kind, and humble version of ourselves that we possibly can day by day, to practice a faith that expresses itself in love, to lean with others into a new humanity, a new generation, or new kind of humanity, open to every good resource that can help us, explicitly Christian, it might say or not. Text size just a little too large this morning. Yeah, I have something blocking me. I love this scripture from Micah. The word um, intentionality hit me. I think that's further down. Um, I think the concept of intentional has been brought up um, more than once this week in readings. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's a pretty powerful word. To me, I wrote down instant, instant um, intentionality too. I wrote it down. Mm -hmm. I look forward to the intentionality of this group every morning. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to me, it just means put a little thought behind thought and prayer behind what you're doing, what you're saying. Um, we do have a lot of power. I think that kind of, those words kind of are in here too. We can do good, we can do harm just by not being, in, you know, we can do harm by not being intentional and not even know it. Right. And you can do harm by being intentional. True. I mean, I, I'm finding that uh, working yeah. with, the, with the Husseinis, you want to do so much to help them, but... Um, it, it takes the group to keep me on course because the first thing you need to think about is what they want for mm -hmm. them, not what we want for them. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right, Susan. So it, it, I, I've really needed people to keep me in line, you know? Um, and, and Susan, that really goes, um, I think that goes further than just you know, helping a, a, a refugee family or someone, people that were not really familiar with their language or their customs. It's, mm -hmm. you know, we think we know people, we think we know what's best for other people. And sometimes we don't. We don't, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 
I remember the year that Dina came back from <laughs> Appalachia and talked about a different experience of giving out the backpacks there. Mm -hmm. How uh, she had thought long and hard about how <laughs> the idea of having kids come up and receive a backpack of goods is demeaning and is not, you know, doesn't, you know, you know makes them feel that they're getting a handout as opposed to that they're receiving love and support. And so she redesigned the whole process so that the kids come forward and celebrate together the backpacks. And, um, you know, I'd never thought of that, never thought about how that simple act might not achieve the ends that we wanted it to. Right. Mm -hmm. I remember that. We had them singing and playing games and having fun while they were standing. There used to be lots and lots of kids. And I am maybe 30. So mm -hmm. we had them all <clears throat> entertained while they were waiting for their turn to go in and pick. Mm -hmm. a big mm -hmm. <laughs> Someplace that did backpacks um gave the parents got the stuff and then gave them to the kids where was so it was coming from the parents mm -hmm. no I, in some other organization i can't remember do you remember that paul they changed their method at guardian angel it, i don't know it may have been i don't remember at guardian angel we put them we put yeah. all the the things in a grocery bag and then yeah. they pick their backpack. Okay. I'm glad that he drew out what was meant by the word religiously, the way he used it, mm -hmm. because religiously can have a negative connotation. Yeah, it can be an obsessive compulsive kind of thing. Yeah, and some people will say, oh, she's just so religious. Yeah. And I balk at that, of course. Yeah, if you look at the uh, source for this, uh, in the uh, reference at the end of this, it says what his book name, his book title was. Um, it is decidedly, um, uh, there you go. St Do I stay a Christian, a guide for the doubters, the disappointed and the disillusioned? Mm -hmm. um, wow. He wrote that soon after leaving. He was the uh, pastor of a mega church uh, in, uh, I think, Montgomery County and uh, was, became very so, disillusioned with it. <laughs> and it left the ministry, uh, that ministry, and wrote this book. And I'm not sure this may be his more current book. He's written a number of books. Yeah, well... Yeah. He, he affiliates a lot with the Episcopal Church. Yes. And I'm glad that he's part of this group. Now, he lived right here. Yeah, I mean, he lived over um, in Laurel uh, near near Maple Lawn um, mm -hmm. for years until they moved to Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I've, we've gone to workshops that he's done, and he's. He, I'm glad he's part of the Center for, uh, what is it? Contemplation. Action, action and contemplation. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to hear from another voice uh, who, who's part of that community, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. But the, the paragraph up above, a uh, couple, couple up. That's the top. That's the top. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Couple down. <laughs> <laughs> Go the other way. <clears throat> Yeah, that one. And in addition to being a humble and kind human being, I hope you will aspire to be a just human being. Don't seek power over others to control or exploit them or harm them. Instead, use whatever power that comes your way for the common good so that all people everywhere can share equal justice and equal dignity. Seek justice, love justice, do justice. Be a just human being religiously. That mm -hmm. that paragraph really struck me. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That should be read by all. That should be read by all politicians. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. And all Christians. Yeah. Mm. 
Do we have any more comments? <clears throat> Let's move on. The first song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Bring out your joy. For the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If we claim to be sinless, we are self-deceived and strangers to the truth. If we confess our sins, God is just and may be trusted to forgive our sins and cleanse us from every kind of wrong. Spirit of God, search our hearts. God of mercy, we have sinned against you and against others. We have sinned in what we have done and in what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. Forgive us all that is past and, ra and raise us to a newness of life. Amen. Almighty God, who pardons all who truly repent, forgive our sins, strengthen us by the Holy Spirit, and keep us in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. God's mercy never come to an end. They are new every morning. Your faithfulness, Lord, is great. You are all that I have. And therefore I will wait for you. You, O oh Lord, are good to those who wait for you. To all those who seek you. It is good to wait in patience. For the salvation of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever, now and forever. Amen. Holy and ever-living God, by your power we are created, and by your love we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us by your spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live each day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Do we have any thanksgivings or intercessions? For Kate, Kathy, 
Julie, Tilly, and all victims of disasters. For Zaneb today, when she goes to the doctor for her shots. For the Chaconas family. For Anne, Lisa, Amy, Mike, and Terry. Any more? Let's move on. Eternal God, grant us this day and every day such readiness and delight in following Christ that where, whether our lives are short or long, we shall have lived abundantly. Amen. O oh God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single peace. Let the design of your great love shine in the waste of our wraths and sorrows and give peace to our church, peace among nations, peace in our homes, and peace in our hearts. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful God bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. <laughs>